Good morning and Happy New Year. It's, uh, I figured I'd just do this little video instead of a stream just, just to show you guys how to do this. This is um, January 1st, 2022, and uh, I wanted to take the time to show everybody the power of this. Um, this is something that uh, myself uh, and uh, username, uh, I forget Bob's last name, the username, but he's done a lot of the work on this as well, so full credit to him. So, here's where uh, you will find it. First of all, you will always find it in the descriptions of my videos. Um, let me get his username right. Let me get his username right there. Did I put it in there? Oh, Bob, blah, blah, that's right. I always call him Bob. <laughs> um, but anyways, so this has multiple sheets of information uh, and, it's, and it's basically a database for, now that, that, that I don't think is even used anymore. But anyways, there's some stuff that's probably outdated. Uh, this are the two main tabs that we use to kind of figure out what the hell's going on. Now, it's not 100%. This is always a work in progress. If a yard comes in or something like that, uh, or for example, we have, uh, we have the ironworks. We have, um, we have logs, that, or sorry, not logs. We have uh, uh, firewood uh, at the ironworks that I haven't added. I noticed that yesterday. So that's gotta be added. I made a little bit of addition over to the oil barrels because I only had room for one. I decided, well, let me split it up to two because I wasn't too sure how it was acting with two, and now, I, now I'm now i pretty sure, so I like to see both uh, as opposed to it adding one. Yeah, this alone is not... Uh, none of this is entered manually, All, although we do have a system that does some randomization as far as uh, shipping and receiving, which we will receive uh, items into uh, the depot and when we receive them and this is a work in progress this is always changing so you can always keep up with us for the latest uh, you know so this says it's too small blah 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 here's a history of well it's not the history since we've been history since we've uh, got everything as far as online but this has been going on since September 2nd but uh, so I, you know, what I what was received yesterday, uh, various, and this is a random number. Sorry, not re receiving. This is shipping. So shipping is a random uh, number thing. I'm not doing any shipping today because it's a Saturday. Normally I would show that. Basically, all you're doing is you're you're putting in the names and you're picking up. So if I was to change this, for example, if I was to change it to something else, the random number would change. So that's what that's all about. Anytime you go in here, you can basically put the date. Uh, you can click the date down and you can basically the next day, we're not gonna be, we're operating uh, in lieu of a holiday on Monday. So we're gonna treat it like a store where that gives us time to fulfill orders, although there's not that many. And uh, so the next day we would use is January the 4th. We'd put, put whoever it is. Usually it's me doing that. Uh, but there's nothing to, uh, to do. Receiving's, uh, receiving, I think I already showed you. Yeah, when, when something's been shipped uh, that was required, uh, it, gets, it gets plopped up there. Uh, did I do everything yesterday? I can't remember. So I got a funny feeling something else was. Uh, I, I got to give access to anybody who's who's actually uh, on our server that that does this. Because he did something yesterday. I know he did. So I better change that. <laughs> I was just realizing. I was just wait a minute. Uh, steel pipes, beams, raw iron. What else is going on? I know this is going to be. I, I want to show you how powerful this is. So I don't want to uh, drag this out too long, and I'm not going to edit this or anything like that. Um, so if I go to the schematic, it will tell me it'll it'll tell me how many cars are required. It says uh, two beams and one log. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but anyways. Because we didn't add any more. I'll have to ask him later today. Because I can't remember. I thought he brought a log up. I don't remember him bringing two more beams. Unless I screwed that up. Receive. Said there was four beams. Um, well, so I'll put that up. I don't know why I have my name there, because it wasn't me. Raw iron I brought. Beams and steel pipes I did not. And I know he brought a log up, but I'm just going to assume he did the, the, the beams. I don't know why it says it sa what it says, but let me say let me try six and see what happens there. Yeah, see that brings it down to zero, and logs. So if I go back to receive, and we got a lot of tabs, we're gonna start, I think, blanking out a few, just to find them. Uh, we did he did bring one log. I remember that. I just didn't do it later. I gotta give him access so that he can do that himself. Uh, and then one log and then what that does, that's the only manual real adjustment that we make in this. Everything else is automated and I'm gonna show you that uh, real quick. So this changes everything. This changes the reports that we run as far as what's needed where uh, we also have inventory levels that can be adjusted. So now we got cars. This we have an oversupply. I want to make a function so that if for some reason we have a bunch of supply that we're just trying to get rid of, um, the demand uh, becomes a lot higher. So it actually increases the demand. And I don't have to keep adjusting uh, the actual demand. But. Um, this is uh, Thomas, who's uh, data that we originally inspired me to, to do this, and our employee list. Um, there we go. So these here, um, these are all inventory uh, price levels. And what, what they are is, they, they, they are basically the inventory that it calls for. This is another manual uh, adjustment that you can make. So what that does is it says we normally want to supply 36 lumber uh, and 46 oil barrels and all this other stuff this this keeps the supply going if for some reason it doesn't keep up every now the randomness sometimes the randomness is good sometimes it's not but that's just the way randomness is I multiply the inventory level a percentage of the inventory level times the percentage of the inventory level so what that does traditionally that gives me a um, I, I, I guess it would be like a I don't know if it's a sine curve or whatever it is so it'll give me more of a probability of lower levels within the inventory uh, uh, levels per price however it gives in the rarer occasion it will give it a higher so it's not an exact random number it is, but it's a random number of a random number, which I've always used to make the probability lower the higher you go. And we still, I, I get calls for 30 lumber every now and then. I've had it, uh, which is fine, and that's cool. But those are really rare. So if you're going to a, um, you know, unless you're buying toilet paper off a shelf, um, you know, during a pandemic or whatever, <laughs> um, chances are you're not going to take everything off the shelf and uh, you know you'll take what you need so that's why I have that in there but then there's some guy who wants to buy stock up on a lot of stuff and he'll take everything off the shelf so that's how that's the the ideas behind that let me get into the, to the milks and cranny of all this though so the key here of course, well, there's there's a, there's a few things. Um, minis work. This is this is this changes. So as 
changes are made, we go in and we adjust it accordingly. For all I know, there could be a change this morning. If there is, we can adjust it and I'll show you how. But um, So it's always constantly changing. So there's a three-step process here. Put my username in. Now I'm going to fetch my game. So this is just the same way if you were to go to make a map. Slot 2 is our is our save. we got some backups there. I haven't done a backup in a while. And then we'll upload. <clears throat> and we do run a server as well, so information is in my description of the video as far as... Uh, you know, you can check some of the YouTube, the live streams of us running. So this is this is our system map. I'll just give you a quick tour. I know it's not part of the video, but so everything is. You know, we got loads there. We got uh, we got our diamond down there. We got uh, some cars that are stored up over by the uh, by the uh, the ironworks. Um, you know, or sorry, there is no cars. Those are just the ramps, I guess. Um, was there any cars in there? Yes, there is. Okay, so there's three cars there. And we have a working yard here with uh, one of our regional engines and a local switcher there. Um, so that's all in, in there to work. Uh, here's our freight depot uh, yard. This is a transfer yard, so we transfer a lot of lumber, um, logs and whatever. Uh, we also have um, a bunch of loads, I think, of iron. No, that's empty cordwood. Uh, so yeah, we do have we do have uh, some iron in there. Wow, there's only one break in the middle. That's interesting. Uh, hopefully it's okay. Uh, an empty uh, crate, a tool crate, and then uh, we got our sawmill yard. This stuff goes on there. That's our main uh, engine facilities. Uh, the main sawmill logging camp is pretty straightforward. We got ourselves a little spiral to come down. Not not a big one. It's a we try try to keep it as small as possible. But uh, I got a I got cars all over the place that I have to fix. So and then I think I'm sitting up here. Yep. Yeah. So last night I sat up there and finished my session because I wanted to go and uh, and then. We got our lines to the various mines. Iron mine. Got a couple extra spurs. Uh, a car uh, that got lodged there that we have to recover, we know about. So I believe we have all the cars. Last I checked, anyways. And then the, uh, the coal mine, which right now has mainly a, bo a bunch of empties, but there are a few iron cars left over uh, for the coal mine. And so if we bring loads up, bring the empties down. By rights, we shouldn't have so many empties up there, but we do. That's the way it is. Okay. So here's the here's the here's the power part. You go into edit. There's three things that we gather information for here. Uh, engines, cars, and industries. We could go as far as getting the player information and the dollars. I mean, I'm at. Uh, for uh, not, I shouldn't say I, but my username or as a company, we're you know like oh just we just broke over fifty thousand the other day. I don't know how many people are embezzling. Let's see how many people are embezzling money. Yeah, we got a few embezzlers. Oh yeah, Zan's embezzled. Blaze embezzled. He said he was embezzling. So if I want, I can I can take that money and just throw it in our account. But we don't need I don't need fifty thousand dollars right now. So. If I do, then I will, I will kindly say, give me my money back. But uh, can I? No, I guess I can't. Okay. I don't want to apply. Uh, never mind. That's interesting. Ah. Will you go away? Thank you. Okay. So rolling stock. This is where we get this. So this is our, our uh, roster. And 
the thing here that we're trying to get is not only a, um, a count of the roster, but we're trying to get... This isn't as, as, as useful anymore because currently the firewood consumption is extremely low. Uh, it went to a little thirsty to... You know, it is what it is. But they'll adjust it, I'm sure. Enough people will complain. I'm not going to be one of those people. It's just like, whatever. There'll be enough people complaining about it, I'm sure. Because just like there was people complaining, oh, it's too thirsty, it's too thirsty, you know. And then they make a change. I was fine with it. Just like, oh, the firewood depot's free. It costs money to put, to do wood. And it's like, yep. Shut up. Anyways. Let's go to... Uh, so we want to go to RO cars here. So the, these are the railroads online input fields. So what you see here is our roster. Now we do have, I have formulas in here that as long as you have a name in this field for a hand car, I don't know how, the, how I get the caboose to work. I forget. There's a formula that makes the caboose work. Let me see if I got that right. Okay, if it's a number. So, if E96 is a number. Oh, I see. So, this is the one that I'm looking for. Ah, okay, I don't even have to put a name in there. It'll work. So, I change that. So, I'm looking to make sure that this field has a number. And what that does is it is it brings it forward. And it's important that it does this because it has to count everything that's in here. This is for certain calculations as far as... Um, did I go in the cars? I meant to go in the engines. Sorry. Got distracted. Okay, the engines. These are the known capacities that I'm sure of, but that I'm pretty sure of. I don't know for sure, but... So, over here I have, like, percentage full, like, for some reason... Betsy's at 66, so I assume that I miscalculated the uh, capacity. Um, so if it's at 110, then you know something's there, but that was the latest. Uh, so Control, Shift, and V. Now, my laptop can't do this. I don't know why it can't do it. Control, Shift, V is, um, is paste values only. Now, I threw it over one just to see if anything has changed in the fields. And as you can see, like, I mean, yes, numbers are changing, which is fine. That's what we want to record. But that is a test to see if the values are still going to match and make sense for these. It's not so important for this. Everything looks fine. If you want to know what um, control shift B does edit, you can also do paste special values only. I still can't get it to work on my laptop. I don't know why. You know, my laptop's a toaster. Works great as a second screen, and uh, I use it out on the f I use it out uh, if I'm rail fanning for ATCS monitor. Okay, so that just updated everything. We're done with that. Go back to our railroads online map. Now we want to get these. This is going to update a lot of things. Depending upon where the cars are, where the empties are. I do have an indication of where the empties are as well, but it's not quite on the schematic. I got so much stuff on the schematic, it is, it's crazy. I think that'll be fine there. Yeah, because what happens is it doesn't recognize these two and zero gets moved over. So when I see that, I don't want to calculate it. So, control C, then we put that over here. Control shift, nope, wrong one. Get in the cars. You know, always an undo button. I wish Railroads Online had an undo button, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so carts, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right beside it, just to see. So, as you can see, these cars are moving all over. One's at a logging camp, one's at the sawmill, blah, blah, blah. I'm only looking for, now the firewood will pop up once in a while, that's okay. 
that's just uh, my either the cabise or the uh, the hand cars that we have. I don't know who threw a hand car in there, who needed a third hand car, but somebody did, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's all in, wonderful. Okay, so that's there. Now, we got that. Inventory is the next one. And again, this, see how it, uh, it, it, it basically says what kind of car, what, how many low, how many pieces you are holding, etc. Because that's how it uh, stores the information and that's how we will calculate it. Uh, inventory. These sums are all along here. Um, so Bob uh, originally worked on this one. This was the one he did. I, I ended up doing the cars and the engines uh, just to give, because I wanted more information. And I also um, added in the cars where the empties are that, per his request, because he wanted to see where the empties were. So I was like, okay, yeah, I can do that. So we worked together. He's got, he, I, we, you know, borrow off of each other's ideas and, uh, but he's done a lot of ideas where he's learned off of other people. I've learned off of other people, etc. So we don't mind sharing this. And I asked Bob about this before, and he said, "Yeah, you don't. Yeah, he doesn't mind." So that's cool. Ah, ba ba ba. Industries, industries, industries. I'll get to it. Industries. Okay. So the industries. Now we've had to make changes. Hello. Do I? Okay, never mind. Okay, when that happens, it's, it's a pain in the ass. It goes to both of them for some stupid reason. There we go. You just gotta grab it at the right spot. And if you don't, it's no big deal. Now, a change was made recently. There was a bunch of 100 values for these new... Uh, there was like 400 values. He changed it. He changed it back to where there were no 100 values because I don't know if that was part of his program or the data that was showing it, but it didn't affect our data any because we were, we're not even monitoring those so that changed which was fine so yeah so we look down here there is a bunch of them I deleted them the other day because they were just they were just old echoes so if you delete cars for whatever reason you gotta clean up the database so this only works as you're adding things why anybody would delete something, you know. So you can see the uh, the logging camp is, uh, the logging camp uh, changed its output. For some reason, when it was saved, it was like 99 and hadn't finished. <laughs> it hadn't put, hadn't finished putting, we don't even use that value, but it's part of the value that's stored, so whatever. Uh, oh, take a look down here, make sure everything uh, matches up fields-wise. And then we go down I gotta get caps locks off. I don't know why I had that on, but we go to the dare. So here's how, and this is how that's the end of the power portion. I'm gonna go back to the schematic. So what that's done is I've just updated all today's trains so that when we go on, we know where the trains are. We know what what has to be run. You can either go by this way, uh, if you want to know specific uh, block numbers and cars. Like, for example, the logging camp was filled up yesterday. This this was requiring stuff yesterday. It don't require nothing right now. That one's just, I don't know what that is. It's part of the reporting. So 100s are usually our, log, our, our logging cordwood. We filled all the logging cordwood yesterday. We had a, we had a player uh, doing it. Uh, actually, two guys were working on that yesterday uh, on our server. I was uh, doing some of the, um, I came back from the coal mine, dropped off a bunch of beer. Then I realized, oh, the, all the empties are up there. So I need to, I need to use that function I have to display it. Um, I'll show you that in a second uh, before I go. But just to show you on the schematic, for me, it's a little bit more powerful. I'm more of a graphy person. So let's go to the coal mine. I know the coal mine changed. I should have shown you what it was before. So currently, I don't know if it changed actually. It probably didn't. 
What has changed? Okay. What has changed? Okay, there we go. I told you there was 99. Before, it was there was 27. I think when it first came in, if you look at the screen grab, it was probably like uh, 27 or something. So that changed. But as far as, you know, okay, so now they got full loads of, the cord, of cordwood that's sitting up there. That could be a train or it could be anything. This is the freight uh, depot yard. Uh, so we got beams. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, these are the transfers that I talked about. So that's your transfer yard. Raw iron, that changed yesterday. I'll show you where that is because I know, I know we moved that in there. So I'll show you where that is. We'll go right to the freight depot. And I'll show you. And this is what's powerful because it tells you, you know, how many loads of what are where. So we added these yesterday. So these are the raw iron cars. So you got four, five, six, seven times three. It's 21. And da, 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 da. what am I looking at? Oh, there's 20. It says it's 27. Maybe there's another one out there somewhere. Oh, yes, there was. There is additional ones. I know there was. Yeah. Yeah, there was two additional. We did. We have so much freaking raw iron. I don't know why we had so much raw iron, but we did. So. So that's that's the beauty of the change. Here's your 36. So we have these transfers are all for the south. Possibly we have too much. We probably don't need as much, but it's there. Just in case we need to, to generate a lot. I think I think it would probably be better. I don't know. It's the right uh, values, but hey, anyways. So that that's that's how we do it. Now empties. You know, we want to look where the empties are. I have a schematic somewhere that does that. Good luck in finding it. I think it's in our old cars. I think it's off to the side. Yeah, it's hiding over here. So, over here, it, this is where it groups, the, it groups the sums. And... So we have one empty, yeah, it doesn't tell you where they are, it just says, okay, there's an empty somewhere out there, so there's one empty oil barrel, you know, th th this is the empty, so there's there's um, 24 beam lumber cars, so if you're wondering where 24 beam lumber cars is, well, they're out there somewhere. Two cordwood cars, uh, we got 10 iron ore cars that are sitting now, of course, some of these are the same car types. We just haven't co combined them. We just use the, the whatever last was. Uh, the exception to that would be uh, crude oil and tools. So we got three empty crude oil cars, one empty tool cars, and there's a lot that you can do with this. Anyways, I don't want to overdo uh, the video, make it any longer than it has to. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, uh, you can always leave a comment in the comments below. And you can also, uh, you know, feel free to uh, pop by our Discord and check that out. And we operate usually six days a week, quite a bit on weekends, which I should get my butt in gear. But I decided I had to do that anyways. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Have a happy new year and we'll talk to you later. Take care.